So let's see, Pisces, what your soulmate wants to tell you today. Let's see. Okay, and the last one and we're done. Good. And of course we need to cut the cards and see the bottom of the deck for the most important message from your soulmate, Pisces. And they feel sorry. They feel sorry. They definitely did something stupid and now they feel guilty. Now they feel the loss. Now they feel the silence. Um, and um, yeah, yeah, look how disappointed they are. Whatever they did, uh, yeah, disappointment and loss and mourning and pain, emotional pain. Um, but they are uh, not sure they want to talk about it. That is why it comes uh, through the message that I'm giving you today. But they definitely want a happy home with you. We do have the Four of Wands and Nine of Cups. That was a lost opportunity, that was something that happened and uh, probably the communication was awful and the situation got worse and worse, right? And now, um, now they are telling you, actually, the cards are saying in the energies, they want a happy marriage with you and a happy family and they want to build with you and a happy foundation. So you might be dealing with uh, King of Swords, which is Gemini, Libra or Aquarius energy. Uh, they might be away from you. But again, synchronicity, synchronicities, and they think about you, you think about them. Um, so, three of pentacles in reverse. They deal with work issues. <clears throat> they are trying to make what's right in the workplace or with a partnership, with a business partnership, with a venture. Um, they are trying to be fair, trying to be just, make the situation balanced. This is also a Libra energy, but I feel this is more about a partnership. They are either trying to make it right, other either trying to escape it okay we have two legal cards here um <clears throat> just for information Pisces we do have the uh the justice card which is a major arcana and we have the king of swords which is again um a lawyer a judge police law enforcement that kind of energy so they are definitely doing what's right and they are definitely doing um what they are supposed to be doing about the partnership that is not uh, on the right course okay well not talking and a little bit confused ace of swords in reverse trying to shed a light on a situation they are telling you actually that they are trying to get smarter and wiser um, understand the situation either the dynamics between the two of you either the feelings uh, what happened you know learn a lesson from this understand uh, why an offer has been refused or what um, you know um, how it happened actually and why it happened because something got uh, got stopped here probably it was a beginning at some point a passionate one with the eight of wands something that was very promising with the four of wands right something that started well and it was quite um you know good um but then you know work issues came out and then something an offer or a situation has been stopped and they are trying to understand why and go within which is wonderful Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords, uh, the Chariot, right? So, um, Pisces, your soulmate wants to move forward. If you are dealing with a fire sign or again, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, air sign, um, they want to move forward. If your person is connected to somebody else, anyways, the combination of cards here says that they have somebody in their life. Uh, they, they want to leave it all behind. We have energies in reverse and then we have the chariot leaving behind all that energy. Can be a third party situation by the way and they want to move forward with a clean slate. Um, maybe moving, you know, in, an, in another city, another province, another country, another, you know how it goes, another continent. Um, they might uh, want to be traveling, see you if you are away from each other and leaving behind really uh, multiple people. And by the way, Pisces, you have tons of people yourself. If not, this is your energy, Queen, uh, uh, um, I'm sorry, King of uh, Cups in Reverse. So you might, um, you know, show up here a little bit upside down and maybe emotionally empty lately. But you don't have to worry because your soulmate is telling you, I want to reciprocate your feelings. I don't feel I can talk about it right now, but I'm definitely passionate about it. 
okay and here you come again with the queen of cups in reverse so you are all there pisces uh all your energies is over their energy they know they are aware of it and they are telling you i can't talk to you right now but i definitely want to reciprocate uh, everything and I feel strongly about it I feel a drive and a passion towards our connection that's the king of wands and of course can be an Aries Leo such that is okay being sneaky they did something they acknowledge Pisces if they've been um, cheating and lying to you this is an acknowledgement card this is yes I did something and I'm not proud of myself and I actually overall energy feel guilty and feel a mourn and a loss and it was stupid and i did it out of whatever um and i'm not actually proud of it yeah they've been defensive about it but now the energies are saying well guess what i th it was bad it was bad they want to be victorious with you it is something about a cup, Pisces, uh, a cup, I'm sorry, a pentacle here. Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Page of Pentacles upright. So there was something about a, a, a pent an offer being refused, something that didn't uh, take off the ground kind of energy, it was not flying at all. Um, and it was uh, probably an offer of friendship. It's the second time I'm seeing the uh, the temperance. So somebody wants to balance a connection in a situation here. That was a no, and now uh, they want they want it to be an e an yes. That was a no. Um, uh, we can't do it right now because probably they are dealing with somebody here. I'm not gonna lie. That is a, a partnership going um, off, and we have the temperance again. That's crazy. Anyways, so um, yes, so. Coming out of a situation that was a no, and now they want to be victorious with it. That is that is a sense of loss that they have, and they want it all back. Even if it's only a friendship, only a cup of coffee, you know, or let's uh, go out and discuss. But uh, they want definitely something. They are impatient. They are really impatient. And with the tower and the impatience card, I feel that they need. They are in a need for a boom. Uh, situation but in a good way you know a good boom full of enthusiasm of passion of burning passion uh, sensuality that kind of energy you know they are impatient to get something like fireworks right in this connection and speaking of attraction and passion and sensuality that is also the devil here so um, honestly that is um, they are impatient to be passionate with you of course, you might be dealing with a Capricorn and of course can be something, but I don't feel this is it at all. It's really a passion and um, a cup and being divinely guided. That is an awakening. We do have the two of cups and here comes the temperance again. And the lovers, are you kidding me? And a communication. So Pisces, that is communication coming. That is a communication. First of all, your soulmate is healing. Your soulmate feels more and more awakened and divinely guided. Wants to talk to you about many things. First of all, about a cup that's been delayed till they deal with partnership situation, legal situation. Uh, they smarten up also uh, with the hermit, Virgo energy, by the way. And they want to talk to you about love and a cup and a soulmate connection. And again, being divinely guided, surrounded by spirit and angels in life and being directed your way. And also moderation. Somebody is uh, holding back a little bit. Um, all these emotions and love. Okay? You might be dealing with a Sagittarius. You might be dealing with a Gemini, Aquarius in terms of energies. You have tons of people here. So I believe Pisces, I'm reading for somebody. You are surrounded by people. They are surrounded by people. Okay? But that is a message here. It is, give me time to deal with something and then we will build a solid foundation here. Uh, kind of balance one. One based of love, like, like true love, right? One based on a new beginning, a second chance, on communication and tons of healings. You have two cards of healing. So this connection, Pisces, you have with somebody needs tons of healing and they want to do just that for you okay so pisces please let me know what you think guys of course don't forget to like share and subscribe and come see me next time i love you hang in there bye